Hello everyone, I am the Ronan Only, and there's no body I'd rather be. So yeah, I am, um, to those who know me, I am, you know who I am, so hi, nice to see you. Well, thanks for coming, appreciate it. Um, to those who don't know me, I'm Ronnie Woods, the one and only. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, 21 years old and live in London, England. Well... No, I'm originally from Kent in London, England. <laughs> in England. <laughs> I'm a student at um, the University of Greenwich, and um, this is my third year. And I, well, technically I kind of finished my third year. I'm now on to just finishing up my essays and what have you. And welcome to my first ever live Let's Play of... Game don't lag on me now. Great te te technical difficulties are the best when you try and do something live because they're, they're like little gremlins. They're, this, they're waiting for that opportune moment to. Welcome, everyone, to the one and only plays Pokemon Blue. Well, I will pick Squirtle. Everyone knows I like Squirtle. But you guys can name him. Almost there, it's almost there. Right, so let's do this. Hello there, and welcome to the world of Pokemon. Um, my name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. The Prof? Pokemon Prof? We should call Pokemon Prof as Doc, like in, um, like in um, Back to the Future. That'd be brilliant. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. <laughs> First, what is your name? Oh, I'm going to go for, you know. It can't really, not really handle this, can it? I hope it's not coming out too laggy for you guys. Okay, we're gonna go for a rally. Here we go. Oh, no, that's it. Front button. Nice. Right, so your name is Ronnie. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Uh, what, what, what's his name again? What? How can you forget your own grandson's name? Also, he's been your rival since you were a baby. But what kids were that much of a dick to be, even at toddler stage, hey, be like, Hey, Ash, hey, hey, Red, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick your ass, and... What, what, what rival, what, that doesn't make any sense at whatsoever. So... What shall we name our rival? His name is Gary! Yes. Ronnie. Your very own Pokemon Island is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Am I suddenly shrink down to midget size? <laughs> and here we are in a very slowy down. <laughs> Emulated room. So I've got my bed that I can't actually get in, which is both works and is a bit silly. Why can't I get into my own bed? There's a potted plant. 
I can't walk behind. And I have a SNES. Ronnie is playing the SNES. Okay, it's time to go. I want to play the SNES. <laughs> Why am I playing the Game Boy? I want to play the SNES. Oh. Oh, those SNES would be so much more awesome. I want to play the SNES now. We should we should play Mario. All right, let's go to my PC. I have my own PC. Back in the day of the 1990s. <clears throat> so I've got I can withdraw an item. I can toss an item. Uh, let's withdraw an item, and I always have a potion. As a kid, I never checked the PC. It wasn't until later that I realised there's a potion. Right, so down the stairs. I, 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 don't, have any, I don't have any water. It, the, the plant can die. <laughs> Mum, right, all boys leave home Sunday. It said so on TV. Professor Oak next door is looking for you. So, you listen to TV? Like, that, that's where you get your, all your words of wisdom, mother, from TV. Let's see what's on TV, actually. Let's let's see where you get your words of wisdom. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. I better go too. So you get your words of wisdom from Stand By Me? Right. Let's leave our little house. Also, I'm, I'm just going to add here. There's only one bedroom upstairs, and that's our bedroom. Where, where's where's Mum's bedroom? Like, where where is Mum's bedroom? Well, yes, Pokemon Red and Blue were released in 1996 in Japan. It wasn't until 1998 and 1999 that they originally the, they finally came over to the US and to the UK. Pokemon was released in the UK on September 7th, if I believe, in 1999. If I'm wrong, please someone. Please someone make, like, tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> so this is Pallet Town. It's rather nice. I'm raising Pokemon too. When they get strong, they can protect me. So you need other people to protect you. You, you, need, you need other creatures to protect you. Stand, stand up for yourself, woman. Have, have you not seen Disney's Frozen? It's changing a life... A the lives of women everywhere. There's a... Is that guy fat? Because he's supposed to be fat people in the world of Pokemon. Because if they are fat, how do they get, how do they get fat? Like, do they, do they eat Pokemon? Do they, do they eat people? Because that's a bit weird. Technology is incredible. You can now store and recall items and Pokemon as data via the PC. So are we in the Matrix then? Is, because that's kind of awesome. How can, how can we not store things on, like, computers? Well, we can store things on computers, I mean. How can we, like, but store actual living things on computers? So there's Gary. Yo, Roddy! Gramps isn't around! Wow. Thanks. I, I kind of gathered that, seeming as he's not in the actual building. Any, any more words of wisdom? Hello. I study Pokemon as po po Professor Oak's aid. Oh my god, Professor Oak has aids? He, sh he should we get them checked out. Professor Oak is an authority on Pokemon. Many Pokemon trainers hold him in high regard. I don't know I don't know why I suddenly did a male voice for him, but uh, Professor Oak is an authority on Pokemon! Many Pokemon trainers hold him in high regard! Okay, 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 that's a bit better. So Okay, well, well let's maybe go up go up here, we'll find maybe run into him. Oh, hey, wait, don't go out! I, I can't, I, I, I've, already, I've already started doing another Professor Oak voice, a different Professor Oak voice. It's unsafe! Well, Pokemon live in tall grass! You need your own Pokemon for your protection! I know! Here, come with me! And suddenly the game takes control of itself! Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Yeah, I bet you guys were fed up with me waiting, waiting to start this let's play. <laughs> oh, Gary, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Ronnie. There are three Pokemon here. <laughs> they are inside the Pokeballs. Why is he laughing? That's, that's not very nice. When I, was, when I was young and I was a serious Pokemon trainer, in my old age, I only have three left. You only have 
freak left? What happened to all the rest of your Pokemon? You can have one. Choose. This is going exactly according to plan. <laughs> You, you, well, you can't break a, you can't make a few eggs without breaking a few eggs. Is is that the saying? You can't, you can't make eggs without breaking eggs. You c you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. There we go. So, do I want a water Pokemon Squirtle? Charmander. Height two inches. Weight nineteen pounds. Obviously prefers hot places. When it rains, it's said to spout, said to spout from the tip of its tail. So you want the fire Pokemon, Charmander! What was it saying? Number four. Obviously it prefers hot places when it rains. Oh, steam is said to spout from the top of its tail. I can, I can make it on there. But Bulbasaur, a strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. So you want the plant Pokemon? Bulbasaur! Um, well, seeming as we're going back to reliving my childhood, I think I'll pick the very first Pokemon I ever chose. Which was... Squirtle! So you want the water Pokemon Squirtle? Yes! This Pokemon is really energetic! Uh, I'm gonna name it... Well, I, I, I've been thinking about it, and um... There's a, there's a recent film that's been advertised lately, being produced by the devil that is Michael Bay, um, uh, where he completely ruins another part of my childhood, so I think I'll name my Squirtle... Oh, I'm just a... whoops. I can't spell. Uh, there's an A in... oh, in there somewhere. Uh, that's a J. We, we get in there. We get in there. Leonardo. That sounds like a good name. He, he's blue, you know. He's got the blue bandana. Leonardo the Squirtle. Right, now finally Gary's going to choose his abomination. I'll take this one then. You dick. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Right. Wait, Ronnie. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Here we go. Gary wants to fight. Gary sent out Bulbasaur. Go Leonardo! Right, so we've got fight, Pokemon, item, or run. I don't think you actually can run. I think I, 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 I can go at you if you run. No, there's no running from a Pokemon from a trainer battle, so yeah, so. Item, we've got potions, that's okay. Pokemon, we only got Leonardo. So fight, you'd have tackle, which is a normal type move, and does, uh, has 35 PP, uh, and tell whip. PP being power points, so you run out of power points, you can't play that move. So let's get a tail whip in there first. He's gonna go for the tackle, of course, and bring down, bring my HP down, my hit points. Ow, growl. There are some sound effects in Pokemon that I never liked. Mostly come from attacks. A critical hit, and it did the same amount of damage. Even though I did tail whip. Oh, the game can't handle it. Bulbasaur oh, kicking my ass. Even though I had a tail whip, which should be. Oh, hello, Trina. Hello, Tasha. Oh, Leonardo's getting his butt kicked. Come on, we can do this. Four HP. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm. Uh, Am I going to lose my first battle? Uh, should I use my potion, or...? 
I, I think I might use my potion. I might, I might cheat and use my potion. I attack Phil. Come on. And boom! I should do it. One HP left! Oh. And down he goes. The another. <laughs> that is true. Who would you like to use Pokemon? I've only got one Pokemon. I use a potion myself. Go get high. Gary, what? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon. Yay, I got money for winning. So I. I, I feel kind of self conflicted. I beat the crap out of an animal. And, and I get money for doing so? <laughs> okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Ronnie, Gramps. I'll smell you later, looked at my kingdom, I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air. Right. Ronnie, raise your young Pokemon by making it fight. But that's kind of. But my mum taught me never to fight. So now I'm free to- Now I have a Pokemon. Now I have an animal that can control an element. I'm free to roam the wild open world. At the ripe old age of 10. Because Pokemon logic. <laughs> and my first patch of grass. Ah. And my first aneurysm. <laughs> Wild Pidgey! Hello, Pidgey. Who are you? Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. It's a convenience shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. Yay, got a potion. Free potion! We also carry Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. It's Time Lord Technology. Oh, that sound is not doing well. Hello. See those ledges? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. So I'm a ten-year-old boy jumping off ledges. Makes perfect sense. Another two patches of grass. Ah, another seizure. And another Pidgey. Hey, Pidgey. Ah, oh, ready in the city. Be slow. Pokey. Heal your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. What have you got to say? You want to know about the two kinds of Caterpillar Pokemon? Like hell I do! Caterpie has no poison, but Weedle does. Watch out for its poison sting. I went to catch me some bugs. I jumped over the ledge. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Welcome to the Pokemon Center! We heal your Pokemon back to perfect health! Shall we heal your Pokemon? Yes! Okay, we'll need your Pokemon! Oops! Thank you! Your Pokemon are fighting fit! There's a little bow, we have to see you again! Ah, oh, so courteous! A bench? I can sit on a bench? I can- uh you lied to me. You know, Professor Oak, right? How can you tell? You just saw me as I came in. Have you been, have you been, been asking everyone else that came to your store, Hey, you know Professor Oak, right? That's... Will you take it to him? Ronnie got Professor Oak's parcel! Woo! Say hi to Professor Oak for me. Okay. Can I get some... Can I, can I shop here? No. I, I want some potions. I have to fight Gary later. No. Okay! Viridian City, the eternally green paradise. Eternally? Is this, is this, is this Asgard? Is Viridian City Asgard? That'd be, that'd be so cool. What the? What the hell is this? You can't go through here! This is private property! Well, oh, that's, that's, that's my old man voice. I need to work on my old man voice. 
what? So like, this, this guy is blocking my path. Because he hasn't had coffee. Man, these people must really like Starbucks. Or, or Costa. Why can't I get why can't I get past trees? Love this music. Ah, seizure. Yay! Good to level eight. Do I learn water gun here? Uh, it's level. Yeah, no, I learn bubble. Bubble. And as everyone knows, Squirtle using bubble can defeat a high level match champ. Because Pokemon the first movie said so. In Viridian City. I'm on the road to Viridian City. Cause we have some friends along the way. Hello, Pidgey. I'll catch you later. I'm actually a Pidgey Pidge. So I have zero badges and I have a level limit on the right side of my screen. The level limit is just to make it a little bit more challenging. I'm not doing a Nuzlocke run, which basically means a Nuzlocke run meaning that uh, it's when your Pokemon faints, it dies. So you have to release it back into the world. And seeing as my only starter is my only, my only Pokemon at the moment is Squirtle, I kind of... That and a Nuzlocke run is a lot harder to do live. And... Right, so let's go give Press Rope back his parcel. Oh, Ronnie! How is my old Pokemon? When it seems to like you, how's, how's it old? You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. Why do you have something for me? Yay! Ah, oh, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you. I'll lose that. It's Gary. Why don't you call me for it? All right, I have a request for you two. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've captured, seen or captured. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Ronnie and Gary, take these with you. Ronnie got the Pokédex from Professor Oak. And they suddenly disappear from the table. To make a complete guide on all the Pokémon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old, I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two! This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history! Alright, Gramps! Leave it all to me! Ronnie, I hate to say it, but I don't need you to- I know- uh, I know, I borrowed town map from my sis! I'll tell her not to lend you one, Ronnie! <laughs> what a... dick! Okay, everyone's back, so let's go. L Actually, I need to say bye to mum first. Let's go say bye to mum. I, I, no, you didn't miss much, I just got a town map from um, from the sis. From Gary's sis. She took a quick rest. Thanks, I'm still having glitchy problems. It, it gives her the right to call it. Yeah, I'm chilly. Oh, look at Pidgey. Right. But I can't catch it yet, I have no Pokeballs. I'm, I, I'm, I assume Professor Oak will give you Poke Poke Pokeballs, but I have to go out and get my own Pokeballs. I have to go out and get my own. I have to go out and get my own balls. I, have to. <laughs> I, I need to go assert my balls. Assert my balls. I need to go assert. I need to go get my balls. I'm going to stop talking now. It is indeed laggy. It is getting. It's getting worse. It's right back in the Pokemon Center. Right now, I can buy things. Yay! Commercialism. Right. Pokeball, 200 Poke Pounds. So I want to get me 10 of them. Why can't I buy potions? That is, why can't I buy potions? What? I, I, I can't buy potions. Uh, okay. okay. And, and did I? Uh, that's a little odd. Why can't I buy potions yet? It could, okay. I'm back. And... I forgot to save. I, I completely forgot to save. So... Yeah. I, I, I forgot to save. Uh, oh, that, that's, that's a kick in the ads. The stream closed, so I thought, okay, let's try this again. 
let, let's try and get this 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 going again. Let's try and get this as get the. Try. It, it it crashed. It it crashed. It it. I accidentally closed it. And yeah, yeah I, I I don't know what to do now. It like everything is telling me to stop. Like. So, um, uh, everyone wants top now, okay. It's, oh, n now, now you're deciding to run at full speed. Thanks game, Th thanks a bunch. Just, just what I need. If you're watching this, this is a second Let's Play because um, I accidentally closed my first Let's Play and lost all my save data. So this is me restarting the game. Um, and yeah. <sighs> let's let's go again. Hello there, and welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Rope. Pro people call me the Pokemon Professor. We go through this as fast as possible. The world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself? I stay Pokemon of profession. First, what is your name? Uh, we'll go for Molly. I was actually about to type then. I was about to type instead of actually push the buttons. That was, that was silly. So your name is Ronnie, yes. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Um, what is his name again? Again? Uh, uh, let's call him... Richard. And you're probably wondering, why, why Richard? And it's like, we're going to call Gary, we're going to call Blue. Oh, hello, what's going on here? I'm suddenly... Uh, oh, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh, what, what's it doing? What's it doing? What's it, what's it, no, what's it doing? I, I, I think I broke it. I think I broke it. Uh, I think I broke it. Cancel, I... It's just stuck on left. It's stuck on left. It, I, I pushed it too hard. Um... Oh God, what's... You know what? Oh, hello. I I just realised my mic was off. Ronnie is playing the SNES. Okay, it's time to go. I just named my rival Rikar. I wasn't paying attention. I pressed the wrong button. And I well, I went to, I went to press D. I pressed A. He's now. He was supposed to be Richard because I was trying to make a dick joke, but it's 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 fine. It's fine. The gaming the gaming gods have said that I am not allowed to. Again. Right, we're back from where we started, people! Back from where we left off. Let's go to fight Gary Oak. Or, oh, as I like, uh, nah, I've, I've called him Ricard. Maybe, maybe the D's silent, so it's Richard. Richard. I'm gonna pretend the D's silent. Oh, uh, Rattata. So, should I catch the rat? Let, do you want my, who, who wants my first Pokemon to be Rikar? Uh, Rikar? I'm gonna catch me a rat. Let I use bubble. 
Oh, did I get it? No, I'm going to catch it. It's like good, good enough health. So to catch Pokemon, you weaken them down and you throw a Pokeball. Whee! Boop! One, two, three. Oh, right. Rattata was cool. Rattata bites eat a flea ring. Mm, do you want to nickname and give him? Well, I've already got Leonardo. Let's call him... Splinter! <laughs> Splinter? Splinter. That sounds about right. Yay! Pidgey! Finally! Go, Turtle! Go, Ward! No, go, Leonardo! Let's go! Oh, I might kill it! No! Don't kill it! No! Ah, oh, it's 1 HP! That's a good Pidgey! That's a strong Pidgey! Right, um, oh, I'm gonna catch it! From two, three, yeah, Pitchy was caught. New Pikachu today has been added. Uh, level to pick up. Awesome. What uses pick up sand. Pidgey, right? Yes. And I'm going to call him. Well, it's not even a him. Uh, back in Pokemon Red and Blue, the genders were, genders were not given to Pokemon. Genders didn't come into fruition uh, until Pokemon Gold and Silver. Not at level three. It's, a, it's Pidgey. I should have, but I can train him. I'll call him Pidge. Pidge, Pidge the Pidgey. Pidge the Pidgey. Pidge the Pidgey. Right, one more Pokemon battle is to see if we can catch a Mankey. Nidoran. See, Nidoran was the only Pokemon in Red and Blue to have a male and female version. The Let's Play Curse, people. The Let's Play Curse. Still sound attacking me. Pidgey's doing well against this, um, Gary's Pidgey, even though its attacks are missing. But, oh no, it hasn't- oh no, it's an attack! Oh! Ah, oh, well done, Pidge, but he missed. Pokemon! Uh, let's go straight for Leo. And welcome back! Sorry about that, we had another technical difficulty problem. It's the live stream service I'm using at the moment called FS Split. But we're back, and um, Pidge did quite well actually. He got some quite a few good hits before um, finally getting hit by one of Pidgey's gusts and doing quite a bit of damage. So now Leonardo's up to the bat. Come on, Leonardo! Uh oh, you can do this. Speed fell, which is quite. Uh, which is what we used, Bubble used to do back in the old good old days. And Pidge to level 4! Well done! We got some levels in there. But now he's sending out his Bulbasaur, which if I believe has... Um, we're going to switch to Splinter, just so Splinter can take some damage for us. His Bulbasaur level only level 8. His Pidgey was his highest Pokemon for some reason. No, no, Afro 1991. Um... I, I probably won't be able to guess from your username, because... Oh, sorry, um, if you're just joining us... Um, if you're watching the video, uh, I currently am playing this live in Let's... In my Let's Play... Oh, no, I've used it on the wrong Pokemon! No! <laughs> I used Potion on Pidgey! <laughs> I used Potion on Pidge! 
Oh, that's brilliant. I got distracted and I pressed the wrong thing. And now... Oh. Okay, right, let's... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is, this is, this is going, this is going well. Come on, come on, Splinter. Let's do this. Come on, Splinter. Keep, if, I, if, if I keep learning its defense, if Bob doesn't attack me, if it keeps using Growl, okay, that's fine. If I keep using Tail Whip, I should be able to get some good hits in. If I lower its HP low enough. Oh, there goes Splinter. Oh, there goes Splinter. Okay, so it's up to Pidge and Leonardo. Oh. I'm gonna have to send in Leonardo because he's my most he's my power hitter at the moment. If I do tackle, you can see how much damage that does. Yes! Wait, there goes the leech seed! Uh... Come on, we could take him down. Come on, Leo! He's not attacking! He, he, he keeps growling! He's trying to lower my attack. That's it, this is it! One more This is it, one more hit! Yes! Woohoo! Take that, Rich Car. Leonardo to go to level 10. Well done. I, sh I should have trained up first. I, sh I should have trained up first. Uh, but we beat him still. We managed to be hang in there. We hang, we hang on in there, even though I did the wrong thing and gave potion to Pidgey. And we got 280 pounds for winning. <sighs> I had the Pokemon League was m m many, has many tough trainers. I have no. F I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit darling and get on a move on. Smell ya later. I have a <laughs> right. Well done. That's... I'm gonna save here, because that sounds like a good place to save. Leo is a trooper. He's hang up, he hung on in there. My, my, my strategy actually worked. I used Splinter to knock down his, um, his defense for Bulbasaur's defense. And then, wow! And then he didn't attack. He kept using um, when when I switched to Leon, um, Leonardo, he didn't attack. He, he should have. I had some HP, but he didn't choose to attack. So um, that's brilliant. He like he kept using Growl and hoping Leechy would slow down my HP away, but no. Okay, right, I think we can get the potions from the H from the Pokemon not now. Ah, oh, let's go. Ah, oh, that feels so good. That that win was brilliant. Hi there! Nope, still can't get potions. That's silly. Um, how many Pokeballs? Wait, uh, one, I think? No, no, two, because I caught Splinter as well. And we're going to catch a lot more Pokemon. And finally, that old man that we saw earlier, who was lying on the ground and refused to move because of coffee, has moved. When I go to when I go, when I go to Shop and Peter's, you have to take the windy trail to Meridian Forest. Do I think I have that potion? Yes, I did. Hello. Oh, I have my coffee, and I feel great. Sure, you can go through. Are you in a hurry? Yes. <laughs> Time is money. Go along then, because all he does is teach you how to catch Pokemon, and we already have three. We have Pidge, Splinter, and Leonardo. I, I was going for a. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles naming theme, but then I kind of switched and just called Pidgey Pidgey. Called Pidgey Pidgey. Um. Oh, ha! Huh. Pokemon Gym. Pe people ask me if I go to the gym. Th 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 these, these are the gyms I referred them to. The gym doors are locked. And it just pushes you away. Ow! Uh, what the hell happened there? Did who pushed us over the- did we just jump over the ledge willingly, or did it happen there? I wanted to talk to that guy. How did I talk to him? I'll just go around the other side. Oh, okay. That makes perfect sense now. <laughs> gonna talk to this guy. Oh, I pressed the run button. No, I pressed the run button. I didn't mean to jump there. I, I hate that. That's the most annoying thing. You can't- you, you press the wrong button at a ledge, and you're just like, oh, I'm off. This pickle game is always closed. I wonder who the leader is. Ooh, mystery. Mystery of the leader. Pidge the Pidgey, Splinter the Rattata, Leonardo the Squirtle. And as we go into Rudin Frost, we're going to catch some more Pokemon, and we're going to continue on our journey into the first dungeon of the game. And you can tell.
Dungeon? Dun 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 a dungeon, a, 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 a jungle dungeon, a dungle, a dungeon. So here we are, Virgin Forest. You can always tell it's a Pokemon. This is the first dungeon of the game, and you can always tell it's a dungeon because um, it has the same music. Even Mount Moon, um, all the caves and the. There's a Pokeball. We need a potion, but. Right, let's catch my first Pokemon in Brilliant Forest. And it's a Metapod! Insert... Dick jokes here. <laughs> there, there's the... There's the famous one which is Penis Used Harden. Um, there's a few others. That I will not suggest, and will not name. Crickle Hits. Alright, let's catch me a Metapod. Uh, Pokeball, go! Oh, oh. Oh, one, two, three! Oh, right, Metapod was caught. Cool. New Pokedex entry will be added for Metapod. Woo! Cocoon. This Pokemon is vulnerable to attack while its show is soft, exposing its weak and tender body. <clears throat> <laughs> weak and tender. Until it gets hard. By using Harden. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave it like that. <clears throat> it, it's, it, it's like it wants me to call him. It's like it, it, like it's, it's, it's like, it, like it wants me to. It, it, uh, what am I going to call him? Um, I'm going to call him iPod. Oh, I didn't catch a single one. Oh, another bad catcher. Yo, you can't, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. You, you can't jam out if you're what? You can jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Is he making jam? Oh, fucking jam. Oh, I can jam out though. I have an iPod. That is true. I have an iPod. I can listen to songs like um, "Call Me Magby." So yeah, I I don't know why I went the TMNT naming theme for my Pokemon. Like, well, I called well, no, originally I called Leonardo. I called Squirtle Leonardo because he's a blue turtle and. TMNT was one of my favourite cartoons growing up, so um, it only seems fair that I give I, I give Leonardo a father figure in a ratata. <laughs> but I have seen the new um, the new trailer for Michael Bay's produced, not directed. He's not directing this one. He's just producing it. He's just funding it. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, hello, Poison Sting. Uh oh. Oh, Tackle, that's okay. Hello, Tackle. Alright, critical hit as well. Well done. Well done, Spinter. Take down that little worm. But, um, and my thoughts on the new TMNT trailer? Um, the new, the new film? Um, oh, critical hit from Weedle. Uh-oh. Come on, Spinter. Um. Oh, it survived! It won't survive! Oh! Yeah, it survives! Well done, Spinter. You kung fu rat. Yeah. Um, my new. Uh, back to my thoughts. <laughs> I tr tried off there, but my thoughts on the Tim and Tree trailer. Um, it looks interesting. Uh, well, how, how do I put it? It's well, number one, the character design is all over the place. Like Michelangelo is this hipster dude. I mean, yes, he's the party dude, but they've made him into a kind of. How do I put this? Like. He 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 just doesn't he doesn't he doesn't look right at all as well like the whole mask take off the mask thing he's like looks like like looks, looks like Shrek they do like Shrek they do like live action Shrek and please DreamWorks never make that a thing I, I never want to see I never want to see a live action Shrek film that would be terrible just just stick to animation you're doing well at the moment How to Train Your Dragon How to Train Your Dragon two looks really good 
can't wait for that, because I, I love the first one. Yeah, right, like Caterpillar, catch Caterpie. Actually, no, we already have Metapod, but... Uh... Um... Shall I, shall I catch? Sh shall I catch? Well, I'm not doing a Nuz Nuzlocke run, so I don't have to catch... I can catch one of the Pokemon I like, so I'll go and catch Caterpie for the sake of catching Caterpie. Because th that's also, um... One of the things I wanted to talk about was making this into a Nuzlocke run, and if you're... If you're aware of, um... If you're aware of a Nuzlocke run, uh, a Nuzlocke run is basically where if your Pokemon die, uh, Pokemon faints, it dies. So you have to release it back into the wild. Um, and uh, if, but like, and when you walk walk into a new route, for example, when you go into Route One, you can only catch the first Pokemon you see uh, on that route. So, for example, I'd catch the first Pidgey I see, and I wouldn't be able to catch any more Pokemon on that route. I just have to stick with Pidgey. And, um, It would, would, be, would be P, but I'll call him fine. Um, so yeah, I was thinking of doing a Nuzlocke run, which is why I have the badges and the level limit, but th that's just, um... That's just for my sake, anyway. I just want to make it a little bit hard. Oh, there's a potion. Find it in the... I, I, know, this, I know this place at the back of my hand. Uh, Viridian Forest. Yay! And that's it! That's the end of Viridian Forest! Leave Viridian Forest, Puget City. Have you noticed the bushes on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move! Many Pokemon live only in forest and cave. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Wait a minute. You, you, you have... Okay, we can shrink Pokemon down into tiny balls to collect them and store them digitally. But we have no means of cutting down a tiny bush. Really? Pokemon logic. <sighs> I hate you, tiny tree. And here we are, Pewter City. And here we are, Pewter City, Pewter City Pokemon Center. The first instance of a Pokemon appearing in the real world, so to speak. And I mean real world by, by the... Um, appearing actually in the game. On the overworld map. <laughs> we have got Jigglypuff. He doesn't even doesn't even even a little dance. Goes. Yawn, when Jimmy Puff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too, Snore. It's alright, you're sitting on a bench. You're sitting on a bench, you lucky sod. I don't get to sit down at all. I have to stand throughout this entire adventure. Ah, oh, poo, yes it does. <laughs> poo, 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 poo. <laughs> I did not notice that. I, f I did not notice that you said poo. I, I, I assumed it was Puff, but... What? Team Rocket's at Mount Moon? Huh? I'm on the phone. Scram. Oh. I'm gonna put some Pokemon in the PC. I'm gonna keep iPod, though. Because I wanna... Because... Uh, Barfree would be quite cool. I'm not gonna be a, an idiot and release it like Ash, though. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right. So now can I buy some potions in the Pokemon Center? In the Pokemon... Because there's a gym right there, and then I'll have to fight it soon. By yeah, yeah, I can buy potions. Woohoo! I can buy five. That'll be fine. <laughs> right. Welcome to Pier City. Did you check out the museum? What this one's not even amazing. Did you check out the museum? No. Really? You absolutely have to go. He is walking me to the building. This is oh, okay. It's right here. It's right here. You have to pay to get in, but it's worth it. See you around. I just wasted all my money at the Pokemon Mart. Dang it! 
Oh, look, in an area we can't go because of a tree. Because for some odd reason, in this technologically advanced civilization where we can shrink Pokemon into tiny balls, store them digitally on, in, on PCs, heal them with medicine in liquid form, we are unable to get past a tiny tree. Right, there's a guy here to save. Get it again? Right, this is Brock, the first gym. Let's go! Alright, let's get happening! The first Pokemon item in the match is at the top of the Pokemon list! By changing the order of Pokemon, matches could be made easier! Thanks, Gym Guy! Hmm, this place is very rocky. I wonder what possibly could the Pokemon be in here? Stop right there, kid! You're still light years from facing Brock! Light years? I, I mean, I know there's a whole space theme going on here, but light years? Diglett! I'm gonna dig your diglet. I, I I really dig your diglet. I dig your diglet. I did. I did. I did. I did uh, well, diddly. Already right, defeated Junior Trainer. Darn! Light years isn't time. It measures distance. So, I'm I'm light years ahead of from facing Brock. Am I? One, two, three, four. I'm four steps. That's that's four light years compared to you. You're pretty hot, but not as hot as Brock. You, you, you're a dude. You're a, are you, uh, okay. I'm just gonna. Okay. Um. Do you mean hot as in? I'm not as. I, I don't know how to comprehend that. Was that? Was that? Okay. Was that went for anyone else or just just me? That's just me. Okay. Right, here we go. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter Jim's leader. I believe in rock de hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. All the rock type. Do you still want to change? Challenge me? Fine then. Show me your best. <laughs> Show me your breast. <laughs> oh, Brock. So here we go. First gym battle. And we have Geodude, who has one of the weirdest sprites, to say the least. Because, like, it has... I, I guess the top is supposed to be... Just, just, the little bumps are supposed to be showing rocks, but it's like, it's not really showing rocks. It's not supposed to show as a rock. Also, what's up with his arm? Like, what, what's it? What's its, what's its hand doing? Like it, it, looks, it, looks, it doesn't look like it's it's supposed to be you know putting its arm on its side or something. It's supposed to be like it's supposed to be a fist. It doesn't look like a fist. It just looks like a really it looks like a tail. It looks like a tail. The, the one on the right, the one on the left is doing the little thumbs up thing. He's like telling you to get out because he's a dude. Like hey dude, get out. But... Splinter, long quick attack. What on? What on Splinter? Leonardo's going to level 12! Brock is about to use Onyx! Will you change Pokemon? Yes, I actually might. Uh, I'm going to use switch to iPod. And then switch me to the absolute Leonardo. Tackle's going to hit hard! Oh no, not very much. But he's using Bide, which is not a very good move. It affords uh, energy, so the more uh, time, the more you attack it, the more damage it does. But fortunately, it's two hit KO Onyx. Thanks to Leo, BTP effective. Well done, Leo. And that's it. I will go to level six, and we beat Brock. I took you for granted. As proof of your victory, here's the Boulder Badge. Ronnie received the Boulder Badge. 
That's an official Pokemon League badge. It's bearer's po- it bearer's Pokemon- it's bearer's Pokemon become- it's bearer's Pokemon become more powerful. That makes totally more sense now. The technique Flash can now be used any time. <laughs> Brock, Brock has his shirt off and he's giving us the move Flash. Even in the games, he was a bit of a weirdo towards women. Really received TM34. The, the TM contains a technique that can be taught to Pokemon. A TM is good only once, so when you use w once to teach a new technique, pick the Pokemon carefully. TM34 contains Bide. Your Pokemon will absorb damage in battle, then pay it back double. Awesome. And thanks, Gym Guy. Just as I thought, your Pokemon. You're a Pokemon champ material. I, I, I didn't even get to talk about the Pokemon gym in general, but um, there's a little known fact that um, in the code, uh, Peter City Gym, Pokemon Gym, leader Brock, winner trainers, Richar, Ronnie. Richar. Richar even beat got me here. It, it, Richar beat me to it, really. But um, I forgot about that. I forgot says that. But um, there's a little known fact that in the, there's a glitch in the Pokemon games where um, you can actually surf within um, these. It, um, it's, it's not written into the code properly, so basically when you use surf as, it, as you would to surf on water, you'll suddenly start surfing on top of the um, columns here, on top of the Pokemon statues, these little Pokemon on top. That are actually, it's actually supposed to be Rhydon, but you don't see Rhydon until later, so you're like, what the hell are these Pokemon? Little, little, little gremlins or something, but it's weird. But anyway, yes, you can actually surf in these statues because of the game glitch, which is awesome. And that's it, we beat the first Pokemon gym. And um, we're almost coming up to the end of this Let's Play. So yeah, we've had um, we've had some fun. It's, it's, it's been tough, like my first Let's Play, it's been a bit tough. I haven't really done, um, talked about much that I want to talk about because I've mostly been talking, like, talking through the game and stuff like that but um yeah mine if, to, to those watching to those in the twitch that don't know me to, to those who know me hi um but I'm Ronnie I'm um I'm a 21 I'm a student at the University of Greenwich in London and um I've been wanting to start a Let's Play channel um for ages like ever since watching people like Chugger Conroy Maryland um uh, uh, on YouTube, like, uh, and loads of other Let's Plays on YouTube, and just wanting to get in there and join them and be a part of this community. And, um, hopefully, I will be able to get in there. I mean, sure, my Let's Plays, uh, my, at the beginning of my Let's Play, it didn't go according to plan, but, um, yeah, we, it, it, it eventually got there, and I'm, you know, I'm talking, I'm having fun, and, um, I'm enjoying myself. The game is running smoothly now. Everything's running smoothly. No glitches. I'm still streaming live. Everything's going well. <laughs> Knock on wood. Um. Uh, let's get some potions. Um. How many do I want? I want six. Because. Finally, we're on to root um, three. Three? Root three? I do believe. And we've got our team going. And we're back. <laughs> I've updated the sidebar with our new friends and companions at the moment, so um, here we go. Here we are. We're at the beginning of Route 3, we've beaten Brock, the gym leader, we've got our first badge, we've captured a lot of Pokemon, we've captured Leonardo, Splinter, Pidgey, iPod, and we've gotten to, um, uh, the, the, we've started our journey, we've started our journey into Pokemon Blue, and it's been fun, like, I've been having lots of fun, I've been having lots of fun at the moment, for my first Let's Play, I'm having a great time, and, um, I hope the next time it'll run a lot smoother than it than it uh, than we began, and um, yeah, it's going to be a learning experience. But I'm really looking forward to bringing you guys more let's plays, more live streams, and finally putting myself out there on YouTube and getting to know more people and creating more videos and 
doing something that I enjoy, doing something where I, that other people enjoy, and I hope uh, you have enjoyed watching me play Pokemon Blue. And I hope to see you all again soon. Uh, thank you for joining me, and thank you uh, for joining. Thank you for, to all my friends, to everyone who came and watched me on the uh, live stream. I appreciate all your support. Um, it, it means a lot to me that you came and. Um, came out to see me and um yes thank you thank you very much this is the one and only signing out <laughs>